Drifting is the forgotten Final Cut Pro tool. It is simple and can be adjusted to create subtle changes in the scene, like adding life when everything seems a little too still. And right in front of me is a very simple tripod shot of a still river. So the first thing we're going to do is bring out the titles and generate a sidebar by clicking this icon right here. Click on generators to drop down the menu and then choose background. In this tab, scroll down to drifting. Select that and then drag and drop it on top of your footage. Go to the end of your footage. Trim end the selected drifting clip by pressing option or alt and then close bracket on your keyboard. Select your drifting clip and then head over to the generator inspector. Click here to drop down the shape options. For this scene, I'm going with the moths. And then go ahead and play around with the settings to see what works best for you. So here's what we've got so far. For a more dynamic and natural look, I recommend you use 2 to 3 drifting backgrounds with the same shape but different settings. All you have to do is go back to the generator sidebar, select drifting and then drag and drop it on top of your existing drifting clip. And trim it once again by going to the end of your original footage, select the top new drifting clip, press option or alt and then close bracket key on your keyboard. Head back to the generators inspector and then choose the same shape option, in this case it's the moths and then go ahead and play around with different settings once again. And here's the result for now. This is absolutely optional, but if you prefer the effect to slowly appear into your footage, all you have to do is go to the beginning of it, select both of your drifting clips, bring up the video inspector by clicking this icon, under compositing, set the opacity to zero and then add a keyframe to it. Go back down to your timeline, and then find a place you wish the effect to reach maximum opacity. Once you've got that, head back to the opacity tool, and then set this amount back to 100%. And here's the result. That is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you find this short tutorial somewhat useful. It's always fun at least for me to dig up old tools from this software. Anyways, have fun exploring this simple tool. Good luck with the project and I'll see you back next week. Bye bye.